Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tosin, and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius on the JP side of thing, part 2 of the 7 tickets, of the ticket 7 actually should I say. Uh, so part 1 was successful, yes and no if you guys didn't watch uh, part 1. Uh, so let's see if part 2 can be a little bit more hype or less hype. So let's start with those 20 tickets, we're gonna go right here. So, uh, yeah, part one was uh, pretty good, and not at the same time, but uh, hopefully part two can be a little bit better. So we're going to keep going with these summons, because these 40 tickets, they had to go. They had to go, because the first time I wanted to do that summon video, uh, basically, I kind of got screwed up by the game, where I wanted to do the summons, and then I noticed that the banner wasn't there anymore, and I was like, no, all my tickets, and I wasn't sure if I had lost those tickets, or if these tickets were still there. And basically the banner came back and I'm like, you know what, I need to do that summon video or else uh, I might not be lucky again. And that banner might come back in another 2-3 months and I didn't want that to happen. Cyan. That's another thing I didn't want to happen was you showing up. But it's alright. It's okay. It's alright. We're gonna keep going. So basically, you know, this is why we're doing this video. Basically, Chinese New Year. You guys are probably gonna... Chinese New Year, you guys are probably going to watch this video Why the Chinese New Year is live on FFB Global. <sighs> Axstar, show up my man. Ramza, hey, it's uh, better than nothing, right? Better than nothing, it's a rainbow, I didn't have him. So, uh, alright, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going, we got 17 tickets left. We're gonna keep going. So yes, Chinese New Year is gonna be live when you guys watch this video. Uh, basically, this is part two, like I said before. And uh, let's see if we can get anything good in this part. So we got one rainbow already, which is good. So let's hope for a second, third, fourth, and fifth one. Obviously, I'm just kidding. Because uh, if we do get five rainbows in this video, that means my luck is gonna be out of proportion. And uh, to be honest, I don't think that's gonna happen. Because uh, it's going to be hard to pull lots of rainbows in here. So obviously, when you get one rainbow, you should already be happy. Uh, unless it's Jiraiya or Gilgamesh, that you should be mad about it. But if you don't have Gilgamesh's Super TMR, then you guys should be pretty happy about it. Because Gilgamesh Super TMR, not for anything, I, I think it's one of the best. Um, that helm, that gives 45, uh, 45 to attack. Also, I think it's Confusion resist with the petrify resist uh, these things are really good especially for your damage dealers that's one thing you don't want to happen is them being confused uh, especially if you, they start hitting your party that is really not cool a guy like Heo, when he's confused and he start hitting his own people uh, that could do a lot of damage and basically kill your party which is not good so we're gonna unlock you right here and we're gonna keep going 14 tickets my mouth's really dry from drinking coffee, so we're gonna switch up to water. I have everything down here. Coffee, water, bam. So guys, in uh, part one, I had the question of the day. So basically, ooh, this cool, wow, this unit is really cool. Ooh, who's that? Sorry, I got, uh, this is a really cool looking unit. I like that. There, she's a really cool looking unit. Damn. Alright, we'll take it. So, like I got off track. Like I was saying in part 1, we had a question of the day. So in part 2, guys, question of the day that is uh, literally off topic of gaming. But uh, what's your favorite food to eat? What's the one thing that you're like, uh, you know what, I can have that every single day. Like, this is the one thing I love the most. And it can be fast food, it can be healthy food, it can be whatever. As long as you don't say celery and peanut butter, uh, you guys are going to be good. Because celery and peanut butter would be really, really weird to like that every single day. For me, I gotta go with burgers. I think there's nothing that beats a good burger. Right? You can have, you can be having a bad day, uh, or a great day. You're going to have that burger, and you're going to be like, man... A burger always feels good. So for me, I gotta go with burgers. And uh, yeah, let me know down below. What is your favorite food to eat? 
or the one that makes you happy. Also, pudding. I don't know why there's something about the vanilla pudding that uh, makes me really happy. But uh, I, I'm gonna go with burgers. A bell. We, we get a ton of Bowie knives. I think the, it, it would be time that they start giving something else than the Bowie knife whenever you do the Steel Castle Malfica. So, 10 tickets left. Let's see if we can get another rainbow in here. They're falling in the back, which is great, but we want to fall like, right here in the front because there's nothing prettier than that beautiful purple light coming from the sky. Golbez, if only it was the star, five star version of you, it would be really, really great. We're gonna keep going. Nine, nine more tickets. Nine more tickets. Bam. We got all these blues. All these blues. Let's go for one more question of the day. So, if you guys are watching this video during the Chinese New Year event, uh, are you guys gonna be pulling out, pulling or summoning a lot for the Chinese New Year units? If yes, let me know who's the unit you're chasing for. And if not, thumbs up. Because uh, for me, like I said in part one, I am really dried out. Uh, there's basically, I have nothing left. Nothing left and I'm not gonna risk. I wanna start keeping a little bit more of my resources from uh, for when units start coming out, other units. Uh, I'm thinking about Aerith, which is gonna be really, really nice. Or in the future, Axstar. Cause I am a small dolphin. Uh, I'm not a big whale in this game. So you guys will rarely see me buy like, I know my back is really cheap. You guys will rarely see me buy like, 30,000 lapis and just go all out on a summon. Uh, basically, most of the lapis I get, it's in the stories uh, as I'm playing or a uh, rainbow in the story or uh, basically when I see a nice little bundle, uh, I'm gonna buy it. But most of the time, guys, I'm a really small dolphin. So most of the stuff that you see on my channel is basically uh, free to play or little dolphin. All right, so I'm not a big spender. And uh, just to show you guys, if you take your time and you're lucky, obviously luck has a lot to do there. But uh, Dark Knight Sasso! We got all these old units. So, uh, like I'm saying, uh, if you do take your time, and obviously luck is a big factor. But as a free-to-play player, you can get a lot of good things. And uh, sometimes when you have to... When you see a nice bundle, you can buy it. But don't go crazy. Uh, that's the one thing I think I learned with these games is uh, it's just a game also guys sometimes is it really worth it spending so much money for one unit depends yes or no if you guys are gonna play with that unit all the time but uh, it all comes down to you it all comes down to your expenses also uh, if you have a mortgage and you're paying a lot of things then maybe you should uh, start prior put your priorities right for this and it's just a side game but if you guys want what you could do is every week you can basically just take ten dollars aside and put it on the side and whenever you see a good bundles well you can use all that money accumulated and you just buy the bundles. so that's one thing you can do too uh, I'm not an accountant but I'm just saying I know some of you guys sometimes you feel like man I want to buy this because I want to get that unit uh, everything so like I tell a lot of people guys most of the times all you have to do is just put a little bit of money aside if you put two three dollars here today tomorrow you put another five dollars uh, it accumulates pretty pretty fast so that's one thing you guys could do if you need to buy stuff so I'm just saying this is probably the easiest way and sometimes that's what I do you know what I'm like ah, you know what this is sixteen dollars $16 is pretty worth it, so let's go for it because we never know what might come out of here, right? Because $16, if you get that rainbow, let's say for me, if I put $16 in the game or $12 and I see that beautiful rainbow coming down and it's the unit that I want, well, guess what? That $16 was more than worth it. But if you get something like nothing where you get a multi summon or a multi draw or a 10 plus one, sorry, I play so many games, uh, if you get that 10 plus one, and you see that beautiful gold come down, you crack the gold, and then you see 10 blues, obviously that $16, you're like, man, I could have spent like, I could have bought like 8 burgers for $16, maybe not, but I'm just saying, uh, so whenever you get what you want, obviously we're always going to think that the money is well spent, and when we get nothing, obviously the money is not well spent, but that's one thing. 
that's one thing i do think it's good but it's still a game you don't have to go crazy about it obviously it's really fun to summon it's the whole point of a gacha game and uh yeah so last ticket of the video guys can we pull one more rainbow lady luck shine upon me I'm making it rain right now. Let's crack this bad boy. It's gonna stay gold. So we're gonna finish this video with Mr. Desh, which has an amazing TMR, by the way. These things, 45 attack is really good. And guess what? With the chokeable missions, I might start farming this right now. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Hit that little bell to get notified whenever I post a video. And please subscribe to this channel for more content from your boy. On this note, guys, have a wonderful day. I'm out. Peace.